Alright guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy, the crazy gamer from X Gamers Asylum, back again with another video of Invincible Guardian the Globe, man. The game that uh we are loving a lot. Shout outs to my community and also the new members. Do keep in mind that if you want to become a member, it's absolutely 99 cents is not gonna hurt anyone one dollar is not even gonna do anything to your pocket and you will be an exclusive member of the asylum you will have many perks such as emojis such as members videos uh streams for only members and stuff good stuff like that giveaways so do keep in mind that if you want to join the channel it's absolutely 99 cents so let's get down right to it man we are back at it again with another video of invincible god in the blow this video is a little different because this is something i have not talked about but i have played long enough to talk about this and that is the factions in the game there are currently four factions we got uh we got earth defenders we got the global the global agency we got uh the criminals and world beyond so it's four four factions currently in the game in this video Based on my analysis of what I have played in the game so far, I'm going to decide and tell you guys which one is the strongest faction. Do keep in mind, this is based on my gameplay. And mostly, if you looked at a lot of people and a lot of units, you could tell which is the best faction. But anyways, let's get break down the video. The first faction I'm going to talk about is the Earth Defender. Omi Man is part of it. Uh, Invincible is part of it. His son... Who else is part of this? Invincible, Omi Man, Adam Eve, Red Rush, Green Ghost, Dark Wind, Martian Manhunter, Martian Manhunter, <laughs> Martian Man, Arquis, Duplicate. It has a few members there. So all these members are from the Earth Defender. Earth Defender, when they go head to head, with the worlds beyond which is the faction that is lacking the most units at current times that's the faction that alan the alien came in which is a little harder to get him ranked up but it's still possible if you use the flaxen leader and stuff like that they get a plus 20 percent damage when fighting members of worlds beyond then they they weaker against the criminal against the criminal the criminal faction so that's how that works so when if i have a team of let's say if i have a team of Ovi man uh his son invincible adam eve duplicate red rush and we're facing members of we're going against the enemy team is members of worlds beyond that means all of our boys are going to get times 20 in damage and that is good because with the dps you can't go wrong especially when you have two on your team that's tanky and that's a lot of damage Let's talk about the next faction right here. It will be the Global Defense Agency faction bonus. We get 20% damage against criminals. But here, here's the kicker. We are weaker against the Agency of Worlds Beyond. Meaning, if I'm fighting guys like uh, Alan the Alien, you're going to see a whole bunch of that. If I'm fighting Flaxen Soldiers, they're they, they building full teams of that alliance. Our... Our homies from the Global Defense Agency, those characters will be uh, Robot, uh, Bulletproof, Monster Girl, Black Sansom, Rexplode, who else? Who else we got over here? Who else we got over here? Uh, Shrinking Raid, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? That's all we got from, from that faction. We got a couple of more. We have... Yeah, that's about it for now. So when we go up against criminals, we are going to be weaker against that. Do keep in mind that you face a lot of criminals in this game. A lot of criminals. You're going to be weak and you will see the down, downwards arrow, red arrow. That means that your teammates are weaker against that faction. And that is how that works when we're fighting against the global uh, the world beyond agency when we're fighting criminals that's the opposite we're gonna get time you're gonna get times 20 plus 20 percent damage which is absolutely awesome 
and we're gonna go to the next faction the next faction will be uh yeah wars beyond with the homie right here wars beyond they're stronger against the global defense agency as i mentioned moments ago and they are weaker against earth's defender which explains why your boy invincible was going one-on-one -on -one with alan in uh in season one episode two when he, when he was sent to space for that mission that was a cool episode so they get it's basically the same thing it's just they get a plus 20 percent damage against the the global defense agency and they're weaker against earth defender the last fashion will be criminals 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 are right here the criminals are stronger against the earth defender and they're weaker against the global defense agency they also get everybody gets a plus 20 percent damage now here is my here's where i evaluate all this stuff at and based on the tier list the first tier list that i did the full character tier list that i did a couple of weeks back you guys could watch that again and you will see on the s tier we have three characters already from the same faction next tier we have omi man we have invincible we have adam eve that is good that is that is absolutely good 90 percent of the people in this game is gonna have either omi man or they're gonna have either invincible on their team i run with both of them so i am know what i'm telling you that tier list has many characters from this faction it has also war woman it has red rush another another member of earth's defender making that the best faction in the game the faction with the with the most strong characters is from this faction you got omi man an unbelievable dps tank you got his son invincible and unbelievable dps tank and you got adam eve the second best supporter in the game they're from the same faction earth's defender and this faction is stacked because you got another great another great support character in red rush red rush red rush first skill wind tunnel that skill is annoying especially when you're fighting against when you're fighting against against him in in the chapters in the stages man this red rush is annoying red rush is a pain in the butt and you also got a they also got another great great support character in green ghost another great unit that i'm currently using on my second free to play account making earth defender the best faction the second best faction it will have to be the global defense agency the global defense agency has the immortal the the one of the best supports in the game still to this day yes if i did a i, I recently yesterday did a support tier list so do join the channel if you want to see members content only it's absolutely 99 cents like i said it's not gonna hurt your packet your pocket i'm sorry and you will get an exclusive perks to that so you got only you got the immortal there you also got the robot the best the best support character in the game they're from the same faction you also got bulletproof you got monster girl another great defender a tier defender so making making the the global defense agency the second best faction in the game now the third best faction it will have to be the criminals criminals you only really have Titan, who's an, an absolute beast, great unit. You have the Flax and Soldiers. You have the Mauler Twin. They work well together. They're underrated units, in my opinion. I should use them more, but they are. They work great together. They are attacker, making the criminals the third best faction with ISO ISO top. I can't even say it still to this day. Yes, I can. <laughs> A great supporter early in the game so the criminals are the third best faction and the last best faction the one that's lacking members 
You got Allen. This world beyond. Allen is a member of that. Who else? Uh, the Flaxen leader. I don't think the. And the Flaxen soldiers. Yeah, those three are from the worlds beyond. And really, this the reason why this takes the fourth spot is because they lack in members. That's all that they're lacking. They're lacking members. And maybe in future updates of the game, future, uh, how you say it? Future, future patches in the game. Maybe they add more characters. They add more characters to that faction. And that's how it's going to be for now. So best faction in the game for me, the Earth Defender. And that is it for me in factions. There you have it, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys drop a comment in the comment section below and uh we're gonna be we're gonna be streaming live today day six of our second free to play account so don't you miss that this was your boy reporting from the asylum with yet another video on invincible guarding the globe pp peace one